everybody. First of all, I'm very, very, very honored to be on this stage. When I go back home, I'll put this shoe in a glass and I'll put history on it because I've never stood in front of people like this. I'm very, very happy and I'm, I'm grateful to God for this opportunity. I'm not going to take much of your time. I had a dream two years ago to build a fashion, a fashion brand. I wanted to be a fashion designer. I wanted people to wear my products and look good. But all I had was a dream. There was no capital, there was no motivation. There was no inspiration. Apart from the dream, I had my elder brother, who was a fellow dreamer of this dream. <laughs> I told my dad, I told my dad, Daddy, I want, to be, I want to be a fashion designer. And I was like, huh? I was like, that is what I want to be. Because in school, I won't lie to you that I, I was coming first and all that. I'm a very, very big Olodo in school. <laughs> but then I believed that I could still become what I wanted to become. So after I told him and he disagreed, I told my mom, mommy, this is what I want to do. And she was like, okay, let her see what I have. When I showed her my designs, with the old mind that most of our parents have, she just looked at it and laughed. And I was like, oh, he's just joking. And that was the end of my dream for her. <laughs> After a few months, I kept on going. I was motivating myself. My brother was motivating me. And by the grace of God, we made some financial sacrifices and we made our first two um, male kaftans. But that was not the beginning. I did not know how to show it to the world. I didn't know how to show people that this is what I am doing. I just snapped a picture of my Blackberry. I uploaded it on, as my display picture. And in less than 24 hours, I sold those two kaftans. That was where the capital started from. I started selling again and again and again. Then I, I got to a stage and I realized it was just about selling, and I was not expanding. I was just getting money to satisfy myself. I was not making people feel the impact of my brand. I, I was not putting my brand out there for the world. So I decided to make um, a velvet slippers. I went to Istanbul. I school in Istanbul, Turkey. I went to Istanbul. I met various um, cobblers. And when I took my proposal to them, they were like, no, 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 because I didn't have the sufficient capital. Then I met this cobbler, very old man, and when I showed him my design, it was like Choguzel, Choguzel. Choguzel means beautiful in, in, in Turkish. So he decided to help me, and we made just one pair of the shoe. When we made that pair, I did what I usually do. I put it as my DP again, and my friend saw it. The reception I got was unbelievable. Everybody wanted the shoe. I spoke to the cobbler. I told him to give me the shoe. I would sell the shoe. And he gave me 50 pairs of the shoe. And in less than three weeks, I sold all the 50 pairs. And that was when the main capital started. That was when people started seeing that, yes, this dream was getting big. People wanted to be involved. People were calling me, telling me they want to be a part of it. But I wanted my dream to just be about what I had in my mind. It was just me and my brother. I didn't want anybody to affect the focus of the dream. I got proposals from my friends. They wanted to buy shares in the company that was not even registered. <laughs> so I went to meet a cousin of mine. He's a lawyer. And in December last year, we got the company registered under the name of Sabali Shoes and Allied Services. After we got the company registered, we noticed we needed funds. We really needed funds to keep going. So I sold, I sold shares to two friends of mine that were like my brothers. I wanted it to be brotherly focus. <laughs> I sold the shares to them. After I sold the shares to them, I got my website, I got a shop, I got everything that I needed to start my own business. And by the grace of God, after less than two years of starting a business, the first money I made when I sold those two kaftans was $200. After two years, when I was coming here this morning, I calculated the net worth of my business. In less than two years, I've converted $200 to almost $15,000. You can be who you want to be. You can be where you want to be. You don't have to wait for anybody to take you there. The potential is in you. Everybody has a brain, but the ability to use your brain is what you decide to use your brain to do. You have the power to make your brain do what you want it to do. You can't just sit at home and wait to become this, wait to become. You have to wake up from that dream and pursue the dream, and by the grace of God, you'll be who you want to be. Thank you very much.